Welcome back to Advanced Minecraft Hexit Edition with Dr. Zombie. And uh, I am bringing my stuff back to base, dropping it off here. And I'm going to work on putting together my sky farm so that I don't have to wander around the dangerous ground looking for food and whatnot. So let's uh, put all my junk in the trunk and cook up some of this raw beef I've got. Oh, I got leather too. That's good for making libraries. Uh, so I got I got books. I already have books. I could maybe make some armor with the leather, but you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna not worry about that. I've barely done any mining, so I could really just stand to to go and and find some iron or diamonds and make armor with that. There's no purpose in me wasting leather that might actually be useful. Uh, in addition, in order to finish up our uh, our arboretum, I need more pine wood, and I've got a couple of those trees that came back. So let's get the iron, uh, and I'm going to toss the copper in there. Let's cook up the raw beef. Let's make a bucket and go get some fresh water. And uh, I can use the fresh water for my farm. one water bucket. Now, I will may have to make sure that my arboretum has some kind of roof at least over the uh, water, uh, otherwise it'll freeze. And uh, typically I put a little stair over the water anyway so you can walk right over it without uh, having any problems. So I don't see a tr problem with that. That should be no, no issue there. Let's get some more wood so I can complete the circle. According to information I heard uh, about a different mod pack that includes the, the tree mod, um, it cal calculates how many pieces of wood are above it and takes longer or shorter based on that. So a larger tree will take a little bit longer. I think this one here took longer to cut down than the last one did. So that should be correct. Okay, got plenty of pine wood spruce wood, it's not pine, and I can go ahead and finish this up, put a couple torches around so I don't get some creepers sneaking up on me like I did before, just a few, alright, let's build the outer wall here, just too high for now, worry about putting a nice roof on it later. I gotta get the uh, important structure down. Okay. Now. One. And then straight across? Is that where? Yeah, that's where this one is, so. Huh? Okay, so we gotta move in one here. And I'm already out of spruce wood. Well, that's okay. I can at least start my basic farm set up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave a little walkway around the outside. symmetrical because I've got a two door opening so it's actually size two middle but it'll do for now. It doesn't have to be symmetrical, it's just something that it tends to make things look nicer. Um, but I will need to make half blocks uh, to prevent the water from freezing and I think I have just what I need already. Right here, stone slabs that do just nicely. And, oh, don't forget my seeds. I want this red seed. Oh, well, over here. And I want my green seeds. 
And hopefully... Ah, uh, wait a minute. Can I plant this thing? And maybe these. Alright. I'm gonna come up with a whole bunch of different plants at once, even though this is not my idea of uh, complete at all. Um, ideally, I'll have this entire middle area dedicated just to wheat. And then I'll have other rooms or uh, other plots of land for reeds and or sugar canes and this other type of seed. But for now, they're going to share a little. Um, actually, I'm going to do this first. Block, block. There. Now that water won't freeze. You are going over here. Okay. So that did work. And I can put the reeds right next to the water. I don't know if that one's going to grow or not, but we'll see. I could grab bone meal and see if that works, but for now, let me see if I can plant this thing. I can plant it in regular dirt, and I don't think it um, sprouts more. But I'm going to leave it there and see if anything happens. I'm pretty sure that that is just it. It doesn't get any bigger. Um, I'm going to put torches on the other end here just to keep it lit, which will help it grow a little bit faster. And there you go, there's our basic farm in the sky. A uh, little greenhouse. Again, I'm going to make like a domed glass roof, I think. Uh, that would be pretty nice looking. And I need to like officially find a place to move in. This here is going to be a, a main room, but I think I'm going to want to put a staircase. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure how I want to do that. Maybe a spiral staircase in this corner here. Problem with the spiral staircase is that I kind of need f uh, a three by three grid, and my house is just a little bit smaller than that. So I'll figure something out, and then I want to put up a bedroom so that I get killed again. I start up here instead of down there. Um, so let me swap out some of my things here. And I will need more spruce wood. Looks like I got more of that going on. Um, but I think it's about time for me to head way down. No. No, what it's really time for is me to put up a bed. I need one, even if it's just a temporary place right now. I gotta have it so that I can sleep and uh, have a place to respawn. That is number one priority now that I've got an, an enough... Uh, uh, another regular base going here. So let's do that. Let's get our spruce. Before we use it all, let's get our wool. I'm going to make a bed. And uh, we'll put it somewhere safe. We'll give a, a roof to our temporary quarters up here. And uh, I don't know if I've got enough. 25 is not going to cover the entire area. Uh, especially because I'd like it to be a little higher. For now, this is just gonna... This is under construction. It's not at all going to look like this when I finish. But I will uh, seal myself up in this corner. And uh, I may cause a skeleton to spawn by doing this, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Tree Capacitor. That's the name of the tree cutting uh, mod. Perfect! I'm done. Safe. Uh, it is disgusting and too short, but I will make that fixed later. Uh, but for now, now that I've got a bed and a save point all set up, I think it's time for me to go down into the caves and find some minerals. So, I will end this episode of Advanced Minecraft Hexen Edition here, and I will see you guys next time. This is Dr. Zombie, and thanks for watching.